This is Jeffrey T. Pertiller. Thank you for joining us on our YouTube channel, Service Management Leadership. Please look around at some of our other videos, leave feedback, tell us what you think. We enjoy hearing from all of our viewers. Today's topic is the eighth in our series on software asset management, setting up a SAM software asset management process program. I want to talk about cost savings. Whenever we're standing up a program or process of any kind, our organization wants to say, how are we paying for this? What's the justification? And so a SAM is easy to justify because we're going to A, make the best usage of all of our licensing. So it means that if we have unused software, unused license, we'll just get rid of them. We'll remove them, try to get some kind of rebate from the, from the vendor or some kind of credit. Second of all, it helps us be strategic in terms of when something's purchased. Since we're licensing experts, we're able to offer value. Third, we understand the agreements. We understand the support agreements. We understand how to negotiate renewals. And so renewals, for every dollar that's spent up front for a software, let's say a million dollars, 20% on average, each year is paid on maintenance. So that's 200,000 one year, 200,000 the next, 200,000 the following. With the big caveat, meaning after that initial agreement's up or expired, there's a renewal for the next one. And the software vendors want a raise on that 20%. And so an organization ends up needing a SAM program just to get a handle on those renewals. A SAM program also helps with the hardware side of these purchases and is able to make initial savings, let's say in the first three to five years. Where it's tough on a SAM program is after we've made all these, these successes, saved the company, the organization, lots and lots of money. Our, we have diminishing marginal returns on our investment because we're not able to save that money like we were. But there are three ways that we can be useful and justify our existence in a SAM. Number one is to be strategic as we purchase, to help our supply chain make great, great choices in terms of licensing models. Number two is helping with those renewals. As I said, they, raise, they rise every three to five years. How can we get a handle on it? And lastly, and almost more importantly, is being audit ready for when these software vendors come knocking on our door wanting to audit how much software we have in our environment. This is Jeffrey T. Fertiller. Thank you for joining us on our YouTube channel. Please like or share the video. Subscribe to our channel. Leave us some feedback. We'd love to hear from you. Hope you have a great, great day. Bye.